going on for a mere 12,000 years. By the year 2000, there will be six billion more people needing food from agriculture. With the right tools, the right equipment and the right technology, it can be done. And playing an overwhelmingly important part in all this will be Ford, Ford tractors. In 1917, the Fordson tractor broke new ground, ground that had only ever been trodden by man, horses, oxen, or worked by steam engines. From the first, Ford has looked at the land from the farmer's point of view. Throughout the world, the Ford Oval is one of the most widely recognized trademarks, and it's in the shape of a seed. The Ford Oval represents a quality product that offers true value for money. From the first Fordsons, the legendary Majors and Dexters, right through to the latest range, the Series 10. Ford technology has opened up man's horizons in a way once never thought possible. It is said that Henry Ford first put the world on wheels. His basic motor car was quickly adapted to other shapes and sizes, and for other uses, as agricultural produce and manufactured goods needed to be moved around the country. And since 1917, Ford has been totally committed to the latest techniques in the mechanization of agriculture. Ford's principal tractor manufacturing plant is here at Basildon, just 30 miles from London. Basildon works in partnership with a network of worldwide manufacturing and assembly plants. They're all linked with spare parts depots and dealerships in over 100 countries through sophisticated electronic mail and data communications and computers with direct access terminals. The Romeo plant assembles tractors for the North American market and is very near the Ford World Headquarters at Troy, just a few miles from Detroit in Michigan. The plant at Sao Paulo makes engines and assembles tractors for Brazil and other countries. Around to Europe, to northern France, to the Ford plant at Charleville. At Charleville, Ford manufacture the yellow industrial tractor loaders and tractor loader backhoes, exported for jobs on construction sites all around the world. across to Belgium, and working in partnership with Basildon is the Ford tractor plant at Antwerp. This plant is the centre for the making and assembly of the transmissions and the rear axles for the complete series 10 and TW ranges, as well as many of the engine components used in Basildon. Antwerp is one of the most modern transmission and axle manufacturing plants in Europe. Since 1979, Ford has invested over 30 million pounds in new production technology. These rear axles are being loaded at the Ford plant in Antwerp for shipment to Basildon. Each and every day throughout the entire year, trucks and ships carry parts and components and the finished assemblies between the Antwerp plant and the Basildon plant. Basildon. Ford's largest center for tractor manufacture. The rear axles, along with the center transmissions and gearboxes from Antwerp, are unloaded here in Basildon.
The plant consists of four main buildings occupying a site of over 100 acres. It was opened in 1964 and is one of the most modern plants of its kind anywhere in the world, with a maximum production capacity of just under 200 built-up tractors per day. Over 80% of the Basildon production is exported, with many tractors shipped as separate parts and sections for assembly into the complete unit when they arrive at their destination. Ford also make tractors in cooperation with licensees, as well as with joint venture companies, in which the equity is held jointly by Ford, the government of the country concerned, and a local manufacturer, who makes most of the components and then sells the finished product. Basildon contributes the balance as required. Other tractor components are supplied to makers of light trucks, tractor loaders, forklift trucks, and other industrial equipment. Basildon also manufactures the highly successful BSD series of industrial engines, which are sold to makers of a variety of equipment from power boats to combine harvesters. The engineering, research and development area at Basildon. For over three quarters of a century, Ford has been among the leaders in tractor technology, constantly raising standards and searching for better ways of achieving an even more reliable tractor, of higher quality and of longer term durability. This Ford DQR program is a never-ending probe into durability, quality and reliability. In both Basildon and Antwerp, Ford has invested in all the equipment of modern production technology. Computers constantly monitor complex machining processes. This ruby-tipped probe can minutely measure any part of any component. The tiniest imperfection will show up and the results of the examination will be assessed and analysed by a computer. These gear wheels need a hard-wearing and tough surface area combined with a softer ductile core. This fully automatic iron night riding system achieves just that. It's a very clean process, with no washing needed or shot blasting necessary, resulting in a minimum of further machining. The low-pressure furnace atmosphere is a mixture of 25% nitrogen and 75% hydrogen, and with a voltage of between 300 and 1,000, the gases become ionized. The gear wheels absorb the nitrogen to form a hard surface layer. This is one of the many examples of high-tech in the world of Ford tractor manufacture. Basildon assembles the three, four and six-cylinder Series 10 range of tractors for the British and European markets and for many overseas countries. And here are made the three, four and six-cylinder engines as well as the hydraulics for these models together with a huge range of other components and assemblies. Ford's investment of over 80 million pounds has updated the technology of this plant. Meanwhile, all the different types of cab are being assembled here on the cab assembly line. They vary in specifications according to the health and safety regulations of the country where they'll be sold. Some countries do not require any cabs at all, while others need only a safety frame. The cab is then moved over to the final assembly line.
This is the tyre and wheel assembly area. These racks hold all the many and various tyres and rims needed by the different tractor models. The tyre is automatically pressed onto the rim, inflated and then made ready for the tractor. Throughout every stage of the tractor's manufacture, every component has been subjected to rigorous testing and quality control. Every engine goes to a dyno test bed, where it is run from 17 minutes to one and a half hours, according to the type of engine. A complete tractor engine is taken at random and is put on a 100 hours endurance test under load. During another series of checks lasting 10 hours, the PTO performance is tested. A random sample of engines and hydraulics come here to this teardown room where they're dismantled and the dimension of every component is measured and recorded. And finally, every tractor goes to the roller test to check the correct functioning of brakes and transmissions all under load. Further proof of the Ford commitment to improved quality, durability and reliability. Ford Tractor Operations has a total worldwide production capacity of almost 100,000 units per year, with over 60 basic tractor models produced for sale in over 100 countries. But tractors inevitably need spare parts, and at the parts distribution centre at nearby Thurrock, Ford provides the backup for repair and maintenance. Parts are quickly sent by rail, sea and air, by post or by special delivery. This fully computerized depot can send everything from the smallest to the largest, to anywhere in the world. This fast and efficient service is maintained through a worldwide dealer network. Massive stocks of all the most frequently needed parts are held at over 5,000 Ford dealerships. They offer expert know-how and service to the farmers in their local area. It was from a train on this line in the early 1930s that Henry Ford caught sight of the Georgian residence of Boreham House near Chelmsford in Essex. Boreham House quickly became one of the world's most advanced tractor training establishments, welcoming students, trainees and dealers, sales staff and parts managers to learn how to advise farmers to make the most of their Ford equipment. So if we put the linkage in, you've got the lower link here as we saw yesterday. From the smallest 44 horsepower tractor for general farm work to the mighty 195 horsepower TW35, ready to tackle with ease the biggest agricultural enterprise. Special variations are produced to meet all sorts of unique requirements. Ford listens to farmers, whatever their language, and incorporates their needs into its production lines. A Ford tractor must be compatible with many systems. To justify the investment in a tractor, the farmer must find it versatile enough to operate the existing equipment produced by dozens of different companies. Most leading national implement manufacturers design their implements to work with Ford tractors. But what of the future? The technology of agriculture will progress still further. New demands will be made on farmers, who in turn will demand more of the tractor. Because of Basildon's worldwide commitment to agriculture, Ford Tractor Operations continues to invest heavily in the future. And so is uniquely placed to meet any challenge. <laughs>